Hi, my name is Kevin Pong. I had a passion for making art since I was young. I attended specialized art programs during my grade school and I focused on oil painting at the University of Washington. In my last year of university, I took some Chinese art history classes and my eyes were opened to a huge world of art that I never knew existed. The difference between Chinese painting and Western oil painting is vastly different because Chinese painting emphasizes the brush stroke, which cannot be changed once placed on the paper. This requires the painter to master the brush stroke and also their own patience and focus. Every brush stroke will be permanent and examined by the viewer for purity, essence, and beauty. For example, by adding more ink, the lines become more bold, representing strength. By adding more pressure, the lines communicate the idea of importance. Combining these techniques with varying speed, amount of water, and size of brush, one can convey an infinite amount of expressions. For instance, a painting with thick black lines moving with pressure back and forth quickly across the paper can give a feeling of anger and impatience, while watery and thin, delicate lines can produce a sense of peace and calm. With oil painting, mistakes can be fixed and reworked over and over. Brush strokes are rarely considered the most important aspect of painting, as the oil and the brushes are often thick, varying in their size and shape. I was shocked to find out how difficult Chinese paintings were to create. And afterwards, I decided to, after graduation, I decided I would go to China to further my studies of their painting and culture. In my art, I've decided to carry on the tradition of learning from past masters and studying ancient paintings and copying their work. In addition, I'm exploring the unique history of the Chinese brush and I'm searching for the most pure form of communication with the brush through abstract art. Unlike Western brushes, the Chinese brush is uh, long, round, and soft. This combined with the right amounts of ink, water, and pressure allows the artist great consistency of control over the expression they can make on the paper. Abstract art works by simplifying this communication through the use of shapes, lines, and colors. Realistic art, however, conveys a specific image that can easily be recognized, but confines the art artist to monotonous details. Abstract art is often confusing and disliked because of its ambiguity. People look at abstract art and say to themselves, a child could do that, but it's this freedom that allows an artist to be completely able to express themselves. Each viewer receives back from an abstract painting the same amount that they put of energy they put into it. A child cannot, can see something completely different than the elderly, and yet both may receive a similar experience depending on what the artist's intentions are. Beyond what I do, I want to share an idea or way of thinking. Try to imagine a life without art. No paintings, drawings, sculptures, music, or dancing. Life becomes cold and confining. It lacks interests. This is the power of art. And from funny stick figures to the Mona Lisa, anyone can make it. I make abstract art based on the ideas and traditions of old Chinese paintings. I hope you enjoy seeing my art and have a better understanding of how abstract art works.